Are uh, you ready to do this one? Oh yeah. Yeah, this is gonna be a hard one. Yeah. This definitely. is uh this is Tony's tribute tea. So the awesome car. Yeah it is, turned out really nice. Pretty awesome. I mean we kinda got the, the shot of the whole thing, so let's just walk around. You you talk to Tony a lot. I've I i have never met him. Did you ever meet Tony? No, not not in person. Just no, so a lot I've, of I've met time. him on conversations. So We'll just start out. It's, it's a tribute car. Tony passed. Yeah. But uh, I tell a lot of people it's 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 not the destination. I uh, I see the destination. I know where I'm going. It's it's the journey. The journey is the interesting part because you have no idea what the day to day is gonna gonna give you. So we know the destination. The destination here. We reach the destination. Tony's reached his destination. But let's tell some. Let's tell about the journey. So, uh, so people kind of know what we got built here, because it's this is Tony's vision you're looking at. Yep. So what we got in the back, we're well, he's gonna put a quick change look like cover on it. That's I was gonna we, ask, what's the deal with, with that? Yeah, no that's why covers? we just have a just a regular plain Jane out of the junkyard cover on it. So he so made a cover that looks like it's so yeah. gonna change that when he gets it. Looks just like a winner's quick change. Oh, maybe it's something his grandson can put on. Yep. Yeah. I do not remember what's the grandson's name. I do not remember. We either. both apologize. I should yeah. know. I'm sorry, Tony. I think he he drew me a picture one time, and we talked a lot about his grandson. What was this? Hollywood speed shop. Ah, just one of the little mini little trinkets and stuff he wanted on the car. So. So it's probably got some kind of a memory for him. And we got the spun aluminum gas tank. Yep. Pretty unique look. It's got the old school look. I see he's got e brakes and everything on the back coming around. Yep. Basic 23 body. I like the exhaust. Yeah, he had me make that custom. We couldn't find anything that he liked, so he's like, do uh, do what you do. So we kind of have dual exhaust. Would you call that dual exhaust? You call it dual yeah, exhaust. It's dual exhaust. Three, three in one, and three in the other. On a straight six. Yep. Now Tony, he kind of got me out of retirement, sort of. Yeah. I, I was kind of, I was, I was kind of moving, moving out, and uh, we we're putting new people in in charge of the different departments. But he had a vision for this this front end, and I believe he sent a. Uh, sort of a piece here of this this grill and so we talked about it quite a bit so I came back specifically to put this together so I was we had a cow hood and we you know him and I we talked about it a lot and we we had another hood piece in here so this is about three or four different parts that we kind of put together and blended together and they come out pretty nice I mean really if nice. you stand back and look at this it, it looks to me like Man, like a 30s race car, you know, it'd be like, oh, hot rod in the, back in the day. So we got uh, in a straight six, he had a lot of chrome chrome front end and everything. Why don't, why don't you show us what this motor looks like over here? So you, you talked to him about the, uh, we got the dual carbs over there. Yeah, had to move the engine over an inch and a quarter so it would all fit in the uh, underneath the hood. Oh, so it, we we had to change some stuff. I don't know about that. Yep, we had to move it over. So you designed the hinges for the tilt front end. Designed the hinges, the radiator mount, moved the motor over, did the exhaust. We got it all working good together. It's cool. So I know you started. You're driving it. You're doing. We're ready to deliver today. I mean, I actually was thinking about this thing and what we were going to say here today. Yeah. And uh, I don't normally put this much thought into something. So I was I was pretty excited. And what happened this morning? I come in. Well, we took it out for a test drive, and uh, the last lap I did, it just kind of fell on its face and started acting a little funny, and it kind of sounded like valve train, like something was. Uh, not right so I got in there checked it out and uh, I don't know who his engine builder was but he so had Tony something. had an engine builder do it yeah. we were running it and doing and I mean it it's he designed I mean he this is not just your straight six here this is pretty, no it sounds like a 350 when you start yeah it, it sounds good but it's got a cam issue yep so we're gonna go ahead and I gotta swap out the cam lifters 
set so it all back up. It's disappointing, but again, it happens. It's not about uh, the destination. We know where the destination is. Oh, yeah. The journey, you just don't know how it's going to go. So we're going to take care of that. Yep. We brought it up here to Trinity. It's, it's up in the new area. But uh, there it is. It's looking good. You know, Tony, he uh, he probably met me first when on uh, Trigger Time. And Trigger Time was back then it was uh, Make America Great. So he, he met me back in when Make America was great and I didn't know him and he met me in a video probably much like you might be meeting me in a video right now. <laughs> but then Tony and I got to, to talk and I don't know when he ordered his car but I think he ordered his car sometime between Making America Great and the Great Insurrection of 2020. So actually I've got to give Tony credit for some of my trigger times because Man, what a guy. Uh, and, and I was going to bring it up with the with the motor thing. Tony was in law enforcement. He, I believe he retired as a, a police chief. I think so. So he's seen the good and the bad in people. Oh, yeah. Sometimes it looks really good. But dang, there's some bad in that motor. But the thing about Tony that I... Tony's seen the good in things. Yes, he man, did. he was an encouragement whenever I talked to him. I don't know about you, but... He was an amazing man. We had a lot of great conversations. So we, we went through the trigger times, and he he liked the trigger times. <laughs> so we made it through the insurrection. I've got me a new one. This is Trump, 2024. It says, Save America again. <laughs> so here we are in the future. <laughs> So what, what could I do for trigger time? Trigger time, to me, has always been if you put the truth out there and give it to somebody, it's not always easy to take the truth. And some people get triggered. I think if Tony had a message, this might be the trigger time. You know, we've all sinned and fall short of the glory of God. And the wages of that sin is death. We have no way to overcome it except God so much loved us that he sent his son into the world and he paid a price that we couldn't pay. What he did, he came into the world born of a virgin, not born into sin. He lived a sinless life. He took our sin upon himself and went to the cross with it and allowed himself to be crucified. He died. He died that death, that medical term death, so that he could conquer death. He went to death, he went to hell, he went to Hades, and he conquered death. He took the keys to death in Hades, and he came back after three days, and he showed himself to a lot of people for 40 days. And then he ascended into heaven, he didn't die again, he ascended into heaven, he now sits at the right hand of God, just as Jesus the Christ, a brother. So Tony and I, we talked about politics, we talked about religion, but this isn't about politics and religion, this is about a relationship. And Tony has a relationship with the King of Kings, a restored relationship because of Christ. And he's now a child of the King, sitting at the table. I may have never met Tony in person, but I'll get to hang with Tony in eternity. We'll see each other. And I look forward to that time. That, that'll be awesome. But in response to that message I just gave you, it might be a trigger to tell you, you, you are evil, you are sinful, and the only thing we deserve is to go to hell. But I have a way of escape. You have to believe what I just said. Start there. But then Christ himself said, if you don't confess me before men, I won't confess you before the Father. And then there's always this thing of repentance. People think it's a big rule book. I better act right, I better do right, or I'm not. No, repentance means I'm running away from God. Now I'm going to run and go to the Father. I'm coming home. So we got to repent. I would take the message, and I'm not going to talk doctrine, but part of your public confession is in the life 
and the death and the resurrection of Christ. That's a baptism. We are baptized. We have the promise of the Holy Spirit. So he puts his Holy Spirit on us as a seal. There is no coincidence. There is no coincidence that we built Tony's garden. 